Rockets are the vehicles that allow humans to explore outer space and may someday even take us as far away as Mars. In a rocket, fuel is burned in oxygen in a combustion chamber to produce a mass of hot gases. These gases expand and stream backwards out of the rocket. The force, as they stream out backwards, sets up a reaction force in the opposite direction, called thrust, which propels the rocket forwards. Rockets can accelerate to incredible speeds of 15,000 miles per hour in as little as eight minutes. These speeds are important to allow the rocket to escape Earth's gravity and make it into space. In this project, we are going to show you how to build your own rocket that takes off at great speed. Instead of burning fuel, it pressurises water or air in order to produce thrust that drives it upwards. This has the same effect as the exhaust gases expelled by a real rocket. For this challenge, we have a choice of two rocket models, an indoor and an outdoor model. The outdoor rocket travels quickly and with great force. But if you do not have an outdoor space available, you can use our indoor model, which is safe to use inside. For the outdoor challenge, you will need the following items, and a full list is available on our website. Let's get started. First, we are going to take the straw and hold it lengthways against the edge of the bottle. We will then secure it very tightly with adhesive tape, making sure it does not bend. Next, we will trim the cork so it is shorter than the length of the ball pump needle. Then, carefully pierce a hole in the cork and push the pump needle into the hole and right through to the other side. You may need to ask an adult for help at this stage if you need to use sharp cutting equipment. Next, we will pour about 250 millilitres of water into the bottle. We then rub grease onto the cork with petroleum jelly and push it firmly into the bottleneck so that the pump needle inlet sticks out at the top. Greasing the cork reduces the friction between the two surfaces which allows the cork to be pushed out of the bottleneck when the rocket takes off. Now we need to move outside. Take the string and tie one end to a tree or tall post. Then thread the string through the straw starting at the bottom of the bottle. Secure the loose end of the string very firmly near the ground. We need to check at this point that the base of the bottle is pointing upwards at about 45 degrees and that the water is covering the neck of the bottle. We are now ready to commence liftoff. Attach the pump to the needle. The pump will be used to pressurise the water in order to produce a spray that drives the rocket upwards. At this point, we suggest you put on some safety glasses to protect your eyes from any flying debris. Then, begin pumping and be ready for the water to spray out of the rocket when it takes off. As you can see, this rocket is only suitable for an outdoor launch. So, if you would rather stay dry and would like to try our indoor rocket, you will need the following items and a full list is available on our website. First, we will take the string and tie one end to a chair, doorknob or other support. Then, we will thread the other end of the string through a straw, pull the string tight and tie it to another support in the room. Now, we will blow up the balloon, but we won't tie it. Instead, pinch the end of the balloon and secure it with a peg. Trapping the air inside of the balloon creates potential energy, ready to power the rocket when the peg is removed and the air is pushed out of the balloon. Now, the balloon is ready and we can tape it to the straw. We're ready for launch. All that is left to do is remove the peg and watch the rocket fly. You can find out more about the science behind rockets, step-by-step -step instructions, and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imac.org forward slash stem at home.